Welcome to today's YouTube video. It is going to be snipers only. We are starting off right away with Byron on Dueling Beetles. Now, if you guys watched some of my previous Power League games from last season, you'd see this is a pick that I've loved doing even before the buff. So starting off with a nice little three tap on there, Gus. Just going to gadget clean him up. You want to be taking four gadgets on Byron right now and damage gear. The four gadgets with uh, the spread shot, I forget the exact name, is so good. Uh, <laughs> it's really good for finishing kills or if you're breaking, you can just like hit someone or of course for healing. And I'll show you guys some of that in a second. I'm also on malaise just to stop the healing, uh, sorry, their regen. And you can see I'm just kind of dominating the Gus. Not going to let him out of spawn the rest of the game. Just gonna make sure we don't overextend and we're keeping our teammates healthy i don't want to use all my ammo on healing though because i am just gonna like be winning my lane like super hard ideally but i do see batucha is getting taken low i'm gonna keep him up there as well i know he's gonna get taken low by the m's as well the m should have pinched him there 100 percent but uh, I'm just going to give him the gadget and you can see all the healing. So you can actually heal them when they're full HP if you guys didn't know. And this is the tankiest Barley I've ever seen in my life. So I'm making sure my buddy doesn't die. I love Batuchas. And uh, <laughs> he is just a unit right there. And that's why I think Byron is so good. It's so flexible in drafts as well. You can go aggro. You can go control. It's just very good at winning lane right now. And just like very easy to draft with. So we're gonna dominate game number one. Game number two, we're looking to do the exact same thing. So wanna win my lane and then, you know, sending Batucha's little heart, there he's my boy. And they are gonna switch it up this time. I don't know why they went M's, I think that's a weird, really weird pick. But you can see I am tapping the Gus again, got him uh, kinda just hiding in this thing. So I'm just gonna keep my teammates alive at this point. I know it's three shots of super now, so Tuchia is overextends a little bit, <laughs> but I'm going to kill my Gus, and uh, I think, yeah, so I'll get the Jesse as well. We're able to stay up. I'm just going to heal counter for a second there as well, and I'm just going to peek the Gus again, and uh, yeah, we're really well played by everyone so far. So I did use my super there just because I didn't want to waste time. Uh, regening and counter was low as well. I don't think the Gus can even like kill Batuchas if I'm spam healing him. So M is going to be on shoot through wall as well. But uh, it's not really going to be able to kill him because it does do less damage than normal M shot when you use the gadget. It's kind of similar to Byron's gadget uh, since it does do less damage. Going to make sure my buddy stays alive here and I'll take out the Jesse as well. And yeah, it's looking really good for us so far. This game's definitely going better for them. But I think it's still like very in our favor as well. I do miss my gadget there. I wanted to get him on the fadeaway. Uh, unfortunately, I am breaking a little bit here. Tuches is going to get two tap there by his coach or his former coach, at least. I'm not sure anymore. And uh, yeah, they're actually coming back here. So I need to stay alive. I'm just kind of keeping my damage gear on. I think damage gear is really good on Byron. And I'm not really worried about any of these guys hitting me, honestly. Um, as I say that, I get hit. But uh, I do like... You know, I've been kind of dominating the Gus and I outranged the other two. So I am going to try keeping my damage gear on. Helps with the healing as well. And uh, you can just see I do so much damage with it. I just like, I think he dies there either way. The super was probably a little overkill. But I uh, just want to make sure that he does get taken out. And uh, yeah, we're going to hit some good shots there as well. And I'll just heal the bell here. Make sure he stays healthy. And we don't need to rush it. We have a Barley coming with super. So on us to lose this game and uh yeah i am gonna make sure i protect the kd at all costs but pretty solid byron game for me i think i played it like almost perfect one or two mistakes but you know can't <laughs> i'll take it next up we have a mandy game in knockout on an open this map was recently added uh for this power league season i really like this map i think it's much better than uh bell's rock I'm not sure if that one's still in. I haven't played like a Okay, I played a good amount, but <laughs> I can't remember at this moment. So, yeah, my teammates, they're both kind of like... They're too far back, so I'm just going to get pinched by everyone, I think. And uh, I get Luki one shot. I kind of want to look if I can kill him. And I do want to hit a slow. Unfortunately, uh, Chino's the gene. He does manage to hit me. And I probably should have backed off there. That's my bad. Um, but nice kill back and then really good play from the squeak here actually just sneaking on the gene I think the gene definitely could have played it better too um, He kind of rushed it in my opinion, but it's power league, you know people It's not worlds power league. So that kind of stuff happens. That's what happened to me too 
But uh, yeah, you can see my teammates did a really good job and good slow from the squeak as well, just to make sure. He has four gadgets now. You don't need to be like very sparing with the slows. Um, I'm also on fourth gadget with Mandy. I feel like shield gear is just, they didn't scale it, so it's pretty bad right now. And I know Luki's going to be back in that corner, and I think I see Chino walking over as well. I'll just clean up. Uh, this is why I picked this brawler. I have a very high win rate with Mandy in the Power League, and it did get buffed. So, yeah, I just kind of caught them in, uh, I have, like... I think I'm good at reading where people are like when I can't even see them. So I think that's one of the reasons why I'm good at Mandy as well. Okay, game number two. So looking to do the same thing. I realize that I can go on Luki and uh, I don't, I think it's a really hard lane for Eve. So I think Eve's good on this map, but against like maps or sorry, um, opponents that can outrange her or counter her like Bell or something. I think it's pretty hard to play sometimes. So I see we have control and I just want to bully Luki. Like, I'm sorry, Luki, I love you, but I need this elo. Like I was getting close to getting demoted at this point. So I'm just going to be farming uh, hits off him, keeping him in spawn, trying to get my super and uh, hopefully get another super like last game. But we all got them pushed back. This game's pretty unlosable at this point, in my opinion. And a uh, good pinch for my teammates there as well. Looking to get my super, of course. But um, fortunately, okay, nice. I do get the trade kill there. Our Brock definitely rushed it a bit. But yeah, good job from the squeak as well. So I'm thinking about going for the super here. I should have. I didn't see where they were. I was going to aim right up there. But I know I can just slow him and kill him. So that's always safer. Uh, it's not as fun, but it is safer. And like I said, uh, don't want to take any risks. So my squeak does get pulled. So we're kind of throwing uh, when we have 3v2s this game. Still 2v2 though. I'll take my chances. Gonna go for Luki. Um, fortunately, my Brock is getting taken pretty low. So we can't pinch Luki out. Luckily, Brock stays alive. And uh, we're in a bad spot here. I know I noticed Luki's out of jumps though, and I know I'm gonna get pinched here, so I'm like, alright, I gotta go for it. And uh, I'll get Luki and my Brock. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a good job of keeping me alive. I kinda <laughs> I kinda hang him out to drive, but I'm there to clean up. I didn't I don't know. I didn't think I could one-shot the gene, but then I'm like, oh yeah, the damage got changed. So I, I one-shot the gene. We have a Piper game. I think Piper is definitely one of the strongest brawlers in the game right now. It is ridiculously, it, like, it does so much damage. So, yeah, it's a very free Piper game in my opinion too. We get control one time and I just, like, <laughs> it's just me shooting them pretty much the entire game. So, I'm looking to just spawn trap them. If I can break the wall, great. I probably could have broke the wall there, um, but... I just broke some grass, didn't want to risk it, and uh, yeah, we're just looking to not throw, stay alive, <laughs> catch them out. I think I see the crow overextending. I didn't want to curve him, I wanted to curve the gene, but then I saw the crow and it would mess up the curve if I went for the gene. So I kind of had to settle. So I'm just going to go around guarding uh, all the lanes and make sure that nobody can get into the map. And uh, we can just hold mid control course and uh we do have penguins as well so that's really nice at this point of the game and i can two tap anyone i'm on ambush so i do a lot of damage not really hitting a lot of shots right now honestly i should be doing better i think i do pick it up uh going forward at least you know my kd at the end says i do but um yeah i'm just kind of giving them all one shot then they run away and it's just if i broke that wall on the right i could finish a lot more kills gonna get the crow um while he's trying to retreat there and they're pretty much spawn trap i like this map i just think it's way too spawn trappy like this so you have to draft smart for it and they don't really have a good way to get out of spawn into our comp we have the penguins they really like need to win the start and even then i mean i think we just out comp pretty hard but uh, yeah, you can see at this point, I'm just free firing on them. So they're running out of time. They got to start going for more plays. I think they were just kind of hoping that we would make some mistakes at the start, but we played it really safe. Just uh, knew we had position. So these guys, like even though their KD is not impressive, 
some of the best randoms I've had like all day, honestly. My other games have been pretty brutal tonight, um, but <laughs> they're just letting me carry. Like that's what I want to do in a lot of my power league games, especially when I'm on a brawler like Piper or something. And uh, these are the matchups. So they're doing a great job. Shout out to Pencil and mine. And yeah, you can see 6-0, it's kind of over for them. Not really a lot they can do. They can go for de some desperation plays, but if I'm them, I'm spamming all my gene gadgets at the start, crow slowing anyone I can at the start, and uh, just, you know, hoping to get some position. I'm just looking to pad the stats at this point, and uh, I think I get him in the corner. Yeah, I do. Nice. One more, one more. If you guys are enjoying the content, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. It helps me a lot. I also stream almost every single day on YouTube, so make sure you guys stop by and watch the live stream as well. And if you want to go the extra mile and you're spending money in Supercell games, you can use code OG in the shop to support me in any Supercell game. So, going to get a nice little kill off the start there. And I'm like, all right, those walls, they kind of bothered me last game. Now there's nowhere for them to hide. Ideally, I can break the other ones as well. I see them going down there. Michelle's doing a good job. Shall I get some KD? You know, it's played good, like I said last game. No complaints about Pencil or mine. But, uh, yeah, they messed with the start. They got, like, hit by the Piper. We have comp. There's no denying it in this one. I, I, I just, like, if I'm making a Snipers Only video, like, I have to include this one. Because, yeah, uh, it's some variety, right? I don't play Piper that much, but I do enjoy my Piper games when I get them. So, I do need to be careful of the Gene here. I got a... Oh. Alright, really good body block from Pencil there. Otherwise, I'd die. I was being really greedy. Um... That's kind of on me, but good job, Pencil, uh, for protecting me. A lot of players wouldn't do that, honestly, so... Again, love both these guys. And, yeah, you can see they actually have us backed up here. Now, I think our biggest mistake is to just rush it. So, everyone's playing good. It is Wipeout, not Bounty. So, you know, if someone has a bunch of kills, you can't turn the game around in an instant. It's more like slower pace, I think, for the most part. And I'm going to look to open the map up. I do hit the Gene, so that's going to make him play a little more on edge. And I'm just trying to build my jump up so I can keep going aggro because I'm how I get out of this. Me, like, doing that. And I think I get... Okay. <laughs> I just throw the curve out. All right, I press the curve and he jumps. But we're going to kill the Lola on the other side. She's kind of all there by herself after I killed the Gene and the Crow jumped out gonna get the crow one shot we did break those walls this game so i can be a lot more aggro and i'll get the gene there give me the crow crow just let me hit you wait why am i not going for the crow bro kill the crow uh oh good play from pencil i'll steal the shelly's kill he stole some of mine earlier it evens out and pencil you deserve that one bro you played fantastic so yeah, I'm just gonna end. <laughs> Raven knows it's over, there's nothing left in this game, so I'm just gonna end it. Not too shabby. See, I, I had to include it, even though it was a little boring, but shout out to my team, it's really perfect. All right guys, this is going to be the final game. It is another Mandy one. This one was tough. So our Carl, like, I've been like, Tick, Raven Man, Nani, and our Carl banned something like so dumb. And then he like went Carl like 2 3 with uh, Mandy. And uh, yeah, just not a very smart player. He was kind of trolling and just like, you know, making the game as difficult to win as possible. Not like my last teammates that just, you know, they let me do my thing. Look at him. He. he <laughs> Like, I'm telling you guys, some people do not want to win in Power League. This Carl is a perfect example of it. So, I kind of wanted to match the Piper, but I take, uh, usually RT is a pretty hard lane for me to kill. I can two tap the Piper. But, um, I do switch on the RT. And, uh, also shout out to Raven. He did trade me the Mandy. And, uh, I gave him B. I think he should have went the other gadget. That's why I picked B for the Piper curves and everything. But he played really good on it regardless. You can just see the Carl, like, Never played the game before in his life. Nice kill from Raven. Uh, unfortunately, he's going to get traded out. It is, it is a 2v3. And we're down by a decent amount at this point. No denying that. 
Harl does have super though, so he can go in um, if he sees an opportunity. They do have Jump Brock. I'm not. I think it's Knockback Piper and RT. So we're gonna have to see what he does. And uh, I'll get the Piper. And we do manage to get the Brock as well. So we're kind of coming back here. He gadgets out. And uh, yeah, we're only gonna be down by one at this point. So that's really nice. Um, Raven's gonna miss his gadget. I have a Jump Brock on my lane. Like, I'm not gonna say. Like, obviously it's favored for me. But it's pretty hard to kill, and uh, that's why I'm looking to pinch mid more. I do have to be careful though, everyone does so much damage. I'm still learning everyone's damage. But it's one of those things where we're down a kill, and I gotta look to make a play or something. So I do get his jump out, and yeah, it's gonna be Curve Piper, so it's not knockback for the Carl. Carl's just thumbs downing and like... I'm pretty sure he's like 0-5. I will snipe the Brock though, so we're only down by 3 kills at this point. And uh, yeah, I think he can... So he's just out of my range, and Carl is going to super up. Um, I do manage to run the Brock down, and I get... Oh, okay, no, I don't get the Piper, but I'm looking at the RT here. And we're down by 2 kills. Carl's going to die. This guy, like, should never be in my Power League games. The reset is so silly. I'll trade with Piper. We're going to lose either way if I don't go for something. But yeah, this Carl is just... Alright, you guys can see for yourself. Round number two. And uh, I'm going to go right off the start this time. Not a fan of this Carl. I mean, you can shoot me. I'm carrying you, though, bro. Like, I'll get you past your peak L2. Don't worry. I'm going to trade with the RT, he has that stupid gadget, so yeah, I am going to be on the extra, um, if I have shield gear, I live there, but um, I'm going to be on the extra slow gadget, and you can see I'm hitting some good shots on the RT again, I know I can't go back, I'll take the Brock out there as well, snipe the Piper, Carl's going to finish off the RT, and uh, he's very excited, he got his first kill, and uh, he probably screenshotted it as well, so nice shots from Raven on the other side. We do have the lead, so I don't want to play passive because we will get pushed in. And if I if we're pushed in and I miss like two shots or something, like we can lose this game really easily. So I'm gonna get a nice uh, shot on the Brock to get his jump out, and Raven's gonna clean up on the Piper as well. So this game's going much better. I'm gonna see if I can snipe someone with my super. I think uh, I try lining up. <laughs> Nobody, I missed. That was a really bad super. I go for some wild Mandy super sometimes. I think I could definitely just go for the RT there, but it is power. Like, I, I do like to limit test, and you know I want to get clips every now and then. Um, but yeah, looking to farm my super back off of the RT. Uh, B does go down. It is a very hard game for the B without the gadget, in my opinion. So he's doing really good on it, and Carl is taken down to one shot. So we do got to be careful here. B's going to get taken out again. That's why I think you should have went the gadget on B. But uh, he's played really good without it. And yeah, this is what I was talking about. We want to play aggro, but they're just kind of farming kills off us at this point. So I feel like I kind of have to look for something. And I see the Piper jumps, so I'll just kind of aim where she lands. I, you have to time it in your head, but it's not a difficult super uh, for the most part. Um, and yeah, get the Piper 1 as well. We are only up by 1 kill, so I need to be really careful. And we can definitely look to get a Brock jump out. I don't know, the Brock's trolling, like, he could have jumped, like, five deaths already. But, um, yeah, Carl did die there, so we're only going to be up by one kill once again. And, yeah, you can see, like, <laughs> he's just so bad at the game. It's, like, kind of funny to watch, but, oh my gosh. Uh, so, I look to get a super. I think I might get the Piper. No. That's not a bad super. I do want to... It's off my screen, so I'm trying to line it up, and uh, they have us backed up here, but I will snipe the Piper there, so good kill. And, uh... Yeah, we'll get the Brock. The Brock, like, he wasn't jumping at all, because I think the RT actually kills the Carl there, so maybe they have a chance to win if he jumps, but he did not jump. Hey guys, game number three. Not a fan of that Carl. He's shooting Raven too, bro? What did Raven do? Um, 
So yeah, just gonna look to slow the RT if I can kill him. If the Carl hit a shot on him, it would have been really nice. But oh my bro, that guy is so bad. I did not even take him. I have to watch that again. Like he can just shoot the RT here, by the way. Oh my god. Please uninstall the video game. That is a tough watch. So we're gonna be down 3-0. The Carl could easily pinch the RT and uh we're up but you know i'll kill the rt and uh he does hit the brock at the same time as me but then he'll die so you know not very happy with him uh and yeah raven is gonna get sniped i'll hit the rt and we're down by three so it's looking pretty tough for us to win this one but uh it's definitely winnable there's two minutes left and i just need to try bullying my lane and uh getting some kills for us back carl does have super so i don't he should just super on the piper at that point he's playing really scared of it um before he got hit he should just super on the piper or gadget then super uh so i have to do some dodging here and i think i get taken out I'm getting kind of slimy but there's too many of them i'll get a shot on brock and raven will trade back though we're down by so much, the Carl is so bad, and I think I get a nice double Mandy super here that brings us back in the game. So, yeah, j Hart kind of walks into it, and I'm feeling myself, so I just, I don't know if this is close, I haven't watched this back, but I'm just trying to time where they are in my head. Honestly, that was so close. Okay, I don't, like, I was doing the timing in my head for when he's walking up his lane, that was like a split second off, so that would have been really nice. Um, but I do kill the RT, and uh yeah so pretty much i know i can carry this game the carl is just making it so difficult <laughs> like bro it's so embarrassing watching this guy play oh my gosh j Hart decides to jump finally and uh yeah we'll get the piper low i mi i messed up my aim on that one so yeah that one was my fault and uh i get j Hart one so i'm not close to my super because i did miss it there without getting any hits um so looking to push up here and just make something happen as well so he's gonna miss his brock super pretty uh bad brock super there and we have them in a really good position here so looking to slow the rt and kill him and i do have my super they don't know i have my super i know he's in that bush just gonna snipe him like he's not jumping like anything in this game so i feel comfortable going for that and uh raven hits a good shot and yeah it's our game to lose at this point so i do want to pad the stats though of course raven gets a kill though and uh yeah like that carl should never be in my power league games that is gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching please remember to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you all next time check out some of these videos below